Welcome to Bullet Love Unboxing Part 3 and here I will show the rule book. Uh, usually I don't make unboxings uh, unless there is nobody else who did the unboxing and so I did one for Lens of Girls here because there wasn't anything on the internet and if somebody else does it well then why should I uh, uh, bother but uh, I didn't see any useful uh, rule book uh, um, discussions. So let's take a look at uh, the manual. The rule book first. Uh, uh, um, as you can see, this is called uh, light, 15 minutes, uh, one to four players. Uh, the whole uh, atmosphere uh, or vibe of this game is uh, happy. Uh, light casual gameplay and that is perhaps not the right way to approach it because then why don't why would you have such a large rule book if it is such a light game well uh first part shows the components this has been shown uh, on some of the inter uh, internet videos uh, then you have gameplay game variants, score attack, uh, and boss round setup, and some fluff uh, about the history. Uh, it's a very, uh, how do you call it, whimsical uh, story. Uh, then uh, Adelheid Beckenbauer and her gameplay uh, bottom stuff. Uh, it doesn't really explain what you do or how you can win, but uh, she can tune bu bullets to any color she chooses. So that would be a reason to not use uh, the color on the back side. But if you use uh, just a light um, ring uh, on the on the bottom, uh, it wouldn't. Um, uh, <coughs> it, it, it wouldn't really uh, hurt immersion. Uh, now we're going to compose the configurations on a pattern because she can. Uh, she uses them as, as essentially as wild. Then there is the Ekoluka Pahaki. Uh, again, it's a lot of. Uh, <laughs> yeah, for for me, it's it's like uh, made up. Uh, and not 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 uh but but um yeah there some kind of world evolves uh, when you when you work uh, with uh, uh, just made up uh, characters as fearful kova it's also easy then there's ling ling also easy uh here on the then the rest of the heroines, Mario, Marty, and the Akaki, they are hard, so it's either easy or hard. Um, and some kind of extra page that they filled up with art. What you also miss is uh, iconography or um, <coughs> terminology on the backside. Uh, they use uh, a QRC solution for this, uh, so action phase, end phase, cleanup phase, and pattern reference. But there are, there are several patterns uh, that are not explained on the QRC cards, and they should be on the back. But uh, apparently, yeah, it flows over <coughs> art before form. Um, that's always <laughs> a bad sign. Okay, uh, going through the rule book. Uh, so it's uh, present made by Joshua from Leningham, and uh, it's the lead designer. And here we started as a simple wish. What we what started as a simple wish is now a fully fledged game. And when I look back on the years of development and 20 plus iterations, I'm reminded that making a game is quite the effort. It requires time, dedication, and mostly lots of people. Uh, the game will rule book you are holding in your hands is the result of, of all the people listed in, to the right, and then so on. 
artists, graphic uh, designers, playtesters, fans, the press team, my co-workers, my boss, these people and many more are the real reason this game exists. I just came up with some concepts I thought were cool. Bullets Love, the concept, is the product of my love of bullet hell games, especially, specifically cute maps. Um, I don't know the genre. They play fast, are pretty to look at, and, and the amount of lore and characters are staggering. I don't attest to be very good at any of the source materials. Honestly, I don't think I'm very good at bullet hard, but I enjoy them nonetheless. Uh, through this project, I've been able to create not just a game, but a universe of characters. Um, I guess that that I get it. I guess that was the part I really enjoyed, the not game part. And that's what 28 versions of development will do, I suppose. So uh, 28 versions later, uh, this is the result. Um, yeah, as I as I said, <coughs> um, there is still some work to be done on the back uh, side of these tokens. Um, but uh, only time will tell uh, when the coin capsules arrive. So here you see the the heroin boards, uh, eight heroin boards, four side boards, uh, eight action boards, 79 pattern cards, four reference cards, 37 boss pattern cards. And I took these together because uh, the heroin board is also the boss board. Uh, intensity track, I didn't really figure that uh, that one out because it's, for, I think, for only for multiplayer. Uh, then here you have the card anatomy. Uh, so this is the heroin info. This is the difficulty heart or star. This is the site. Uh, then you have life uh, here. Mm, the hitbox that is here. So the, when the bullets go down, they go to the left, so this is called the hitbox. Uh, there is the incoming uh, area, uh, it's called incoming, that's easy. The current area, uh, so, okay, so the, uh, when I said th this is the side board, the current area is the area above it, uh, and that is why it's called current. But it doesn't mean that the whole board is called current. Um, then there is the actions, the star actions, um, power up slots, and the action point track. Uh, that's the 720. Uh, here it explains the bullets that some have stars and some don't. Um, here it is the bag. Uh, it says the center is the bag that holds the uh, general supply of bullets. And the current bag uh, is uh, holds the bullets, they must survive each round. So uh, one current bag. Uh, this is the intensity track. This, these are power-ups. And then we go to the information on the gameplay. <coughs> So you place you place you place bullets and they go down. Uh, and then the number is the number of empty uh, empty slots, and you jump over. There is also this thing that I found a bit natural, but um, multiple instances of the same action action can be changed chained. Uh, Ling Ling can spend three AP to add the plus three to her total of her next pattern. Um, and then it explains, uh, it shows a picture of where the, the two is jumping over, not pushing uh, the one. So the, the, the sequence uh, from two, one becomes one, two, and that will cost two, uh, energy. And then you have this, uh, on effects and move versus place versus put and moving bullets. Um, I can tell you that uh, reading this in lamplight makes it really hard. Uh, so yeah, this blue should have been a bit lighter uh, to contrast with the black on the back side. And then you have the star bullets. And let's see. And the Pattern arrangement requirements. And here it starts to explain 
what's what the pattern uh, symbol symbology means and it should be on a sin single page but uh, when you flip it over it continues uh, so you have these uh, these BAM things uh, that means that the, the, the tokens are taken out of the uh, site grid uh, equal sign of course easy and uh, there is this single circle that means that that uh, token must be present and there is the dotted circle that means the token may not be present and that is a bit unfortunate uh, choice um, then there i would have preferred something more intuitive um then there is the crosshair thing that you move when a certain heroine uh, uh, uses the crosshair um so a lot of things refer to um uh, refer to to the actual heroine uh, specific pattern and Let's just take one out at random. Uh, Riagaki, your patterns indicate a color at the top. When a bullet, your patterns. Our uh, patterns, patterns is for example this. For Riagaki, Jesus, it's also very annoying box organization. Riagaki. Where are you? Uh, free? No. No. I'm going to put names uh, on the ribbons. I think. No, this is not free. Where is she? One of these must be re. This is not re. This is not re. This is Russian. This is black hair. This has a hat. So it's either these or these. Ah, got it. Okay. So what she says here. Uh, patterns indicate a color at the top. Okay. So. I guess that is this color, and when a bullet that shares a color with the top 